Hi everyone, this is Chica from Borrow Delights, and on this episode, we are going to make my creamy cauliflower sauce. This is a great alternative to bechamel sauce that I love to make and use for my pasta dishes and casseroles, and it tastes delicious. Your family won't even know it's the cauliflower that you've used to make this sauce, which is perfect if you have kids. As always, I will leave a link to my blog in the description box below so you can get the exact measurements for this recipe. To start, you're going to wash and chop one head of cauliflower and place the florets into a pot with some water. You're going to simmer this on medium heat with the lid on until the cauliflower is fork tender. Next, you're going to spoon the cooked cauliflower and the cooking liquid into your blender or food processor and add some salt, black pepper, minced roasted garlic, and a chicken bouillon cube. You're going to place the lid on top securely and puree until it is nice and smooth. Now because of the size of my blender, I add half of my cauliflower, my seasonings and puree that, and then add the remaining amount of cauliflower and liquid and puree until fully smooth. But you can do this all in one shot. This healthier, low calorie and low fat creamy cauliflower sauce is delicious. This is a great base for any pasta dish. If you wanted to make this into an alfredo sauce, simply add some grated Parmesan cheese. Or if you wanted to use this to make macaroni and cheese, simply add some shredded sharp cheddar. This sauce is also great to top pizzas as well. Or you can just serve it on its own over your favorite pasta with some parsley to garnish. I hope you guys will give this recipe a try and let me know what you think in the comments section below. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel before leaving this page so you can stay up to date on all my latest recipes. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to share it and give it a thumbs up. I want to thank you all so much for watching and a huge special thank you to all my current and new subscribers. Until next time, I'll see you in the next video.